Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how I built this ceremonial flag case on Dad It Yourself. Okay, so I received this package in the mail for a commission project. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Uh, I'm sure you could probably tell it's definitely a folded flag, but we'll see if there's anything else in here. It's a really nice box. So I have this really nice piece of 4S 1x6 red oak. It's about, I don't know, 6 feet long, so it should be plenty long enough to build the case for this. What I'll do is try to get a grain match on the top, and I'll use this box as my template to get my pieces to rough length, and then I'll start mitering the angles and assembling the box. So normally a folded flag has an 80 degree angle at the top and two 50 degree angles at the bottom. But because this flag has been boxed and was folded for 45, excuse me, for 90 and 45 degree angles, I'm going to leave it that way and build this flag case with a 90 degree angle on the top and two 45s on the bottom, which means 45 degree cut here and two 22 and a halfs down here. Okay, so I've got this miter joint cut, 245s, makes a nice 90 across the top. But down here at the bottom, this is a 45. So you say to yourself, oh, 45, half that's 22 and a half. Well, this is what happens when you cut 22 and a half. You get a 45, which is 45 degrees less than 90 degrees. And what we want here is 45 degrees past 90 degrees, which is 135 degrees. So there's two ways you can do that. You could cut two 45s like this and match it up, but then you get this end grain here, and I don't like that. So we have to cut, really, a 62 and a half degree cut. And you know, and I know, that miter saws and table saws only go to 45. So we're going to do it over here with this tenoning gauge and the blade set to 22. I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I have my table saw set up 22 and a half degrees off the vertical and then this board here has been cut to the length so this outside corner is that bottom edge of the triangle where it meets the bottom piece. So we'll be cutting kind of in this direction down through here. So I cut the miters on this bottom panel the same way, and what I did was actually just kind of sneak up on it. I would cut this board a little bit, cut the miter, see what the fit was like, cut a little bit more off until everything kind of was proportional and sat where it needed to be sat. Now the other cool part is, because I use this 1x6, you can see how tall this is. This is actually taller than the actual flag. I should be able to rip this in half and have a second case. There you go, two identical flag cases now. So next step, I gotta rabbit the back for the back panel and put a groove along the front edge for the glass panel. So for the front panel, I used 1 8 inch thick Lexan. You could use glass or whatever. The awesome part is for me, 
is that's the same kerp as my blade. So I have this blade set to 3 8 high and a quarter inch off the fence and that'll provide me an offset for that front panel on the front of the case. And as you can see, it fits right in that groove nice and easy. So the last bit of milling I have to do is put a chamfer on the top outside and a rabbet on the inside for the back panel. And I'm going to do that on the router table. I already have my chamfer bit installed. So I've installed my 3 8 rabbeting bit in there and it's set for 3 8 out and 3 8 up and a quarter inch back panel will fit in perfectly in that rabbit. Definitely on the inside, but probably on all surfaces, starting with 120 and moving through 220. See how that feels, and then we'll do our first glue up. Okay, for the last step tonight, I'm going to go ahead and glue up the top miter so we get this V, and then we'll move on to the next step. New day here. Glue up came out really nice. These came out really sharp and I'll sand on these in a little while. But what I need to do now before I cut the glass and glue the triangle together is finish the inside. So I'm going to use Simple Finish right here from Maker Brand. And what you do is you just wipe it on, let it dry, wipe off the excess, follow with a second coat, let it dry, wipe off the excess. No big deal, it takes less than a half hour. So let's get started with that. Okay, so I got one coat on the inside. It is the inside. Uh, you're really not going to see it because the flag fills up the entire uh, inside. So to make the glass face pretty easy, it's a 90 degree angle, so I just take my plexi piece and just slide it in that corner. And this is a little off of 90 right now. Once I glue it together, it'll kind of squeeze together. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and mark it over here. Push it up over here, mark it over here, and I can leave that a little short because uh, it gives some wiggle room in there. And then I'll just connect these two dots together and cut that corner out on the bandsaw. I got those all cut out, and as you can see, it's right in there like a glove. Okay, let's get these under glue. So that was in the clamps overnight and looks pretty good. Got a little glue residue here. This joint was really good. This joint's a little loose. I'm going to try some techniques of rolling that edge over and then I'll probably have to put a little bit of filler in here. Uh, and then I'm going to sand the outsides and we're going to do the oil coat on the outsides as well.
So if you guys have never used Simple Finish from Maker Brand Co, you should try it out. Look what it did to that red oak. Just rich and deep. It gives it a nice matte to semi-gloss finish. And that was only two coats, and then you let it dry off. Check out that green match. Looks awesome. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the putty to dry on the cases, let's get these bases put together. So there's a base piece here and then kind of a riser, and I've got some pencil marks I've already lined up to find my centers on here. Looks like about there. And then I've gone and drilled or marked these two holes here so I could drill some pilot holes through. Okay, now that I have the pilot holes drilled, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down using Type Bond Thick and Quick. I'm an idiot. I'm a complete moron. I can't glue three pieces of wood together in a triangle and get it right. What I ended up doing is mixing up my measurements and my inside measurement became my outside measurement. And what did that mean? Well, this triangle ended up being an inch and a half too short this way and about an inch short this way. I could get the flag in here. I could squeeze it in, but it ended up sticking up about an inch higher than the back. You can clearly see here how much of a mistake I made there when I cut those boards in half thinking I was going to get two cases out of this instead of just cutting it one. So what did I do? I rebuilt the whole case. So from this point further everything after here is the new case using the same techniques that I used to build this first one and I completed the project. So I've got this piece of birch quarter inch plywood. I'm just going to line this up on the factory edge on the bottom to this corner. Describe the shape. And I'm measuring three eighths of an inch from each of these three lines to replicate this rabbit and this piece should fit right in the back of this. Okay, so I did a rough cut out of the triangle. Not bad. This is the factory edge, and then I did these with the bandsaw. They're not perfect, but they're good enough to ride along the fence and give me a nice straight cut with the blade. And I've got this set from three eighths of an inch from the fence to the outside of the blade because the waste is going to go in between. Let's go ahead and get this cut. Okay, had to tune up the corners a little bit with the orbital sander, but as you can see, that's a great fit. Let's get a little uh, oil on here, and then we'll attach the base and put the flag in, and we'll be done with this project. I'm just going to countersink a couple of holes to hold this back on with some brass screws. Here it goes. Let's clean the back of that up.
This flag was draped over the casket of a U.S. veteran who served his country with honor and his community with distinction. It's only fitting that it's placed in a handmade case like this to honor his sacrifice and what this flag stands for. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please don't hesitate to put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. The subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.